Hey guys, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. I am Mama, good to see you today. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to say hi to my friend Rob, who I know is watching. Hey Rob. <laughs> um, anyways, so I just wanted to talk today about the energy of words. Um, so I, it, this is actually a really, really important topic to talk about and just to think about um, the words that we use and the different energy um, that each word has when we speak it. Um, we actually talked last week when we pulled our lion spirit animal card, we talked about how lion is very careful about choosing the right words and making sure that um, the lion is choosing, you know, the word that they actually mean to say and that has the energy that they want it to bring. So, um, so I've been working on this specifically with my own life and my own business. Um, I had been looking at myself as someone who was a divorce coach, um, helping mommies and daddies through divorce and also children um, through divorce. But I really have had a hard time with the energy of the word divorce. Um, and so I have been doing a lot of thinking about that and wanting to change that energy because it just didn't feel as good to me as I wanted it to feel. So I actually changed my title and now I am calling myself a love coach. Doesn't that just sound so much better? It's like, it's like it just kind of melts away um, some of the feelings and kind of negative association that you might have with um, with divorce and just um, replacing it with love, which is what I'm doing anyway in the business. So to me, it feels so much better. Um, I actually have this awesome quote here I wanted to read to you from the uh, old philosopher Sophocles, um, who says, one word frees us of all the weight and pain in life. That word is love. And it's true, it just kind of releases us and allows us to feel joy and happiness and um, sort of sparkly, warm energy inside of our bodies rather than something that's more constricting and feels uncomfortable. So I wanted to kind of um, challenge you um, to start thinking about the energy of the words that you use and how you want uh, those words to feel. And also the words that you're using to yourself and the messages and the different ways that you talk to yourself. And just make sure that you're choosing your words very carefully, like our lion energy does, um, to make sure that the words that we're using are, are benefiting us in the way that they can and they're not hurting us and sending us a message to our bodies that feels kind of uncomfortable or restrictive. So um, is there, what I would like to know is that, is there any, any area in your life um, where you could add love, where you could kind of flip it around and um, find the love, find the love in pain, find the love in sadness, find the love in anger. Um, I would love to know that. And I would also love to know sort of the areas or what you can change in your life specifically and the word that you can change. So, you know, it might be the way that you think about a teacher or a certain subject. You know, you might, instead of using the word, I hate math, you could say, I haven't found the love for math yet, <laughs> which kind of implies a totally different thing, right? Like you're looking for the love and therefore you're open to the love as opposed to having a boundary and a block um, with the word hate. So I just thought that would be kind of a fun thing for us to think about today as we exercise our brains and our, um, 
and challenge ourselves to get more creative and more selective with the words that we use because words have energy and we want to make sure that we're filling our world up, our environment up with magical, wonderful, sparkly energy filled with love. So I say that to you today, guys. Um, that's my message. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please share down below um, your thoughts and your words, uh, the, the ways that you would like to change. And I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.